Are we live? Is it working? They're like going tap, tap, tap. Is this thing on? <laughs> okay. I'm waiting for people to show up because, um, yeah, a number of things happened then. And then I panicked and messed it up. So it got worse. And I had to leave the original live. I couldn't get back into it. So hopefully you're going to see the message. A message has just popped on Facebook that and YouTube that says you're now live. Can you hear me? That is the question of the day. Do we have anyone here? Yay! Is it working? See and hear. Oh my gosh, guys. Every time I do this, I learn something new. <laughs> For those who don't know, and I know Denise knows, and you're probably shaking your head and going, oh my goodness, tomorrow... I'm doing a virtual event for my team using this program, okay, and Zoom and, and other bits and pieces. And I thought I had all the glitches worked out, but clearly I do not. I am back. Yes, everything is working and you can hear me, right? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, thank you so much for sticking with me. You guys are awesome. What would I do without a bit of patience? Right, and here I am. I'll tell you what, they let anyone do this job, seriously. Um, I, <laughs> uh, I have had a good week. It was really good until like about 15 minutes ago when I couldn't get my act together on this program. But anyway, we're good. We're good. And we have, you know what, we have some different people here tonight. So really lovely to see you. If you are watching for the first time, I'm not always this um, scatterbrained, shall we say. <laughs> So, yes, I'm hoping tomorrow I will have all my ducks in a row and everything will work fine. But there may be a few glitches and thankfully, um, yeah, we managed to fix it in the end. I went back in because there was a, a problem with the sound. I worked out the sound problem. But the thing is, Streamer gives you 10 minutes from the time you said you would go live to actually go live. And then I had another glitch and it took me so long to sort that out that I went past the 10 minutes and then I couldn't get back into the live again. So then I had to start the whole process over. So that actually probably was what I should have done in the first place, was start over completely. So there we go. All right. So tonight we're going to have some retro fun, okay? Some of you may have seen a card that I did. Remember this one? But this was up. Oh, I have a, a cat going through my stuff. I told him I, he was supposed to stay outside and then I went outside in a panic and forgot to shut the door. But anyway, um, this is a card that I made a little earlier today and I'm going to show you guys the process of how I made it because there's quite a few steps with it. Thank you. Now, whoever that is over on Facebook, it says Facebook user. It doesn't tell me who it is. And the reason why is there's a little um, thing just above this video that says you need to give StreamYard permission to actually show your name because your name only appears on Facebook. It doesn't appear here where I am in StreamYard. So um, if you would like me to see who you are, <laughs> then, um, but if you wish to remain anonymous, you don't have to do that. But if you would like me to see who I'm talking to, when you said, glad you sorted it all out, I don't know who said that. So my apologies. So I'll show you what it says to me. See, Facebook user, can you see that? That's how it appears. And I get a, a blank face. But if you give StreamYard permission, then it will actually show your name. Okay. Let's hide that. You're eating, Cherie. Is it um, what time of day is it over there? I'm assuming it is not dinner time, which is dinner time here. It will be fine tomorrow. And you know what, Denise? If it's not completely fine, it will be okay. All right. We're going to sort it out. And I have I know some things are going to work really well. Um, I have one section that's pre-recorded, so that's going to be fine. <laughs> but anyway, all right, so who wants to make it with me? Bit of fun. Can you see here? Oh, there is the camera. Um, I've actually used some DSP to make this a kind of a peace, love, and 70s. Is it 70s or 60s? Do we say 70s? I think it's 70s, this, this whole thing. But anyway, okay. So let's switch over to the other camera which this will work. Look at that. We love that. Oh, it was Bronwyn that commented. See, there you go, Bronwyn. You just have to give Facebook permission and then it tells me. I can see it's you now. <laughs> there you go. Oh, toast. So, oh, it is. Oh, that's similar time to here. So there you go. Maybe I'm mistaken as to where you are. I was thinking you're in the US, but you're not. 
oh well and you like the combination i love <laughs> the combi is what you meant yes do you know i learned something today that i didn't know that combi is spelt with a k did you know that because i didn't but it's short for combi and i looked up I did my research this time. I looked up and it said that the reason they were called that was because you could take the seats out and make them into um, a different kind of vehicle than a vehicle, than you know a transport vehicle rather than or a you know for for toting stuffs around like surfboards and things like that because um, they don't they remind me very much of a tropical holiday or um, something like that. So anyway, here we go. This is the set we're going to use today. Now this is actually from our celebration offering so this is one of the free sets i'm just going to move this over a little bit i'd like that to be in the center so this is the celebration and this is one of the ones that we were not able to get initially here it is on page seven of the celebration catalog you've got that one on the way yeah because this has only just become available here so basically everything at the start of the celebration catalog so from the very first one the island vibes one on page three right through to um at first we didn't have this one either the sunshine sunshine and rainbows paper on page eight that wasn't available but that came in um before the other ones um but we did have the marvelous paper and the otters they they were in from the beginning and we had the friendly hello and the special moments so we had those four items but everything else took longer to come in so on that note, I have a little special announcement for you guys that Celebration in Australia or in South Pacific only here in our market is actually going to go a bit longer because they're giving us a bit more time with all these things that we weren't able to get. So you'll be able to get the Celebration stuff, still get a free item for every $90. You'll still be able to get the um, the beautiful host set, the Carmen Camellias for a $500 order or a group of orders. Um, so those will still be around. And the joining special is also going to go around and it's going to go all the way through until the 16th of March. Hooray! We're very excited about that. So um, the joining special for anyone who doesn't know is at the moment spend $169. You'll get $235 worth of product plus any free stamp sets that you wish. Okay, any two, sorry, two free stamp sets, not any free any two free stamp sets goodness me i need to be careful what i say <laughs> anyway um so 169 dollars is going to get you all of that product and a whole bunch of other things as well i mean it is an absolutely amazing deal if you've ever thought about being a demonstrator awesome time to do it or if you haven't thought about it but you're thinking i have a really big order i need a whole bunch of things this is the cheapest way to get them it is the best way to maximize your value that you possibly can so if you want to get the most value you can out of stampin up this is definitely the way you want to go all right that's what i did when i first joined obviously i took it to extremes and turned it into a business not everybody does that some people just get their own discounts or they might um you know to be honest the majority of people i'd say 90 percent of people join for the discount Okay, they want the discount of the kit and they want the discount on their products ongoing. So it's pretty cool. So to put this card together today, I combined my little combi here that's here on my driving by set and I combined it with the Paradise Palm set to create this beach scene because I wanted it to be a beachy card. Okay, you got two deliveries this week, Margaret. How nice. Oh, oh, Australia Post, yes. I had a customer, I don't know if she's watching tonight, I had a customer who received an order this week in the most appalling state. I've, I don't think I've ever seen one so bad, and I've seen a few, but that was awful. It was left, it left down near her bins, absolutely saturated. Everything inside was damaged and leaking, and it was a mess, absolute mess. So sometimes that happens. It's not good. Um, and Stampin' Up! are fantastic. They replace it. They replace whatever's been damaged all, always and uh, and look after us. So, yeah, it's pretty cool, pretty good. All right, so this is the card. Um, I'm going to use my combi stamp. So let's pull that out of there and pop it on a block. I've just looked. My lights in here are a little bit dark, so I'm actually thinking I might turn on my side lamp. It's this time of night now. It's getting dark right around this time. Yeah, there you go. That's better. All right. Okay, and I'm going to use Memento ink, and I'm going to be stamping. First of all, I'm going to stamp on 
a piece of white cardstock. This is just plain old basic white cardstock. And let's pop that on there. Just like that. Right. And then I'm going to be, actually I'm going to leave that out because I'm going to, I'm going to do it again. I need to actually stamp two because we're doing the paper piercing sorry paper piecing technique and if you haven't seen this done before it's super super easy takes a little while to do but it's a lot of fun now the paper that I used for this here is actually from this amazing paper pack this is one of my favorite paper packs in fact I'd say probably it is my favorite paper pack at the moment for anyone who hasn't seen it it is called Pattern, Pattern Party and it's a host set. And you're thinking, yeah, but I'm not a host. I'm not having a workshop. You get it with any, you can get host items with any order over $250. So if you are saving up a few orders and you've got $250 worth to go, you're going to get 10% back in your pocket or not in your pocket, but in product. Okay. So this particular set is a host set. You can only buy it as a host set. So you'd need to be putting in an order of that size and then you get some free dollars and you can purchase this as one of the items that's available. Um, you can see there's some beautiful patterns and it's why it's called Pattern Party. We've got stripes and we've got colors. We've got all kinds of stuff, you know, rainbowy kind of things. Um, this one looks like scales in multiple colors, but just beautiful animal print, flowers, scallops rainbows all sorts of things really really cool so lots and lots of patterns okay um the one i used on this card is this one here with all the little hearts on it in the different colors and i thought that was cute but i'm wondering today maybe we should use the rainbow just to have something different which one will we go with this is your first get your first choice okay um you get to choose whether you would like the rainbow hearts or the rainbow stripes which one will we go and I'm just going to wait for the very first answer to come through before I make my choice they're the two I'm picking from rainbow stripes rose or rainbow hearts they're both rainbow but which one hearts or stripes ah stripes all right so rainbow um, I have, let me have a quick look. Oh, who is first? Oh, Denise, you're first. Here you go. This is the first one I got through. And, oh, you said rainbow. Right. And that's when I asked. And then Rose said rainbow as well. So, and then Margaret said rainbow. So I'm going to go because you're the first one to come back, Denise. I'm going to go with Rainbow Stripes. So that's this one here. So that'll be a difference. This is the one we used last time, and this time we're going to use something different. So there we go. All right. I'm going to have – it doesn't really matter which way this goes, um, but I think I'm going to use my driving by little combi again. And I'm going to stamp it straight onto – my design paper my designer series paper make sure I get a good image now this is going to take a little while you have to be patient with me I'm sure we can find things to chat about whilst we are cutting this out all right so I'm going to actually just use my paper snips and I'm going to cut out the section that would be painted with the stripes so I'm not going to cut out the whole thing but the secret to getting good paper piercing, and I'm not sure paper piercing, I always say piercing, but it's piecing, is to stay, and you might need, I'm just noticing, at this time of night my eyesight is not fabulous, but what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to stay just on this side, this side here, the insides of the line. So I'm leaving the outline, I'm leaving the line intact. I'm like cutting just outside of it because when I put this down on the other one I'll be using the lines on this so there's a little bit of cutting here so if you don't mind cutting and I don't then this is something you might really enjoy this technique but I know some, not everyone loves it so if you don't love cutting I'm sorry this is not your this is not going to be the technique for you <laughs> so the hippie flowers would be good too yeah they'd be good That'd be another good choice. There's some nice retro designs in this paper pack. Now, when I cut, 
I find I get a better line if I move my paper. And actually, it's also going to be easier if we cut off that big bit. Much easier to cut a little bit. Right, so I'm leaving my line behind. Now, can you see what I mean? I've still got my line attached to this piece. I'm not cutting that out. So I'm going to stay on that side of it. And that's why I'm cutting this way as well, so I can see if, I, if my line's on the other side, you'll want to cut the other direction. Now, I'm not going to cut all around the windows and everything. That's just a bit tricky. A bit you could, but I'm not going to do that tonight. It'd take too long. So I'm just going to cut out this panel here. Just move that out of the way. And then we're going to bring this down almost there. It's not very exciting video, is it, cutting out? Right. So here you go. You can see I've still got my lines on here. So when I end up putting this on here later, it's going to straight away look like the car has stripes. All right. So you want to keep that aside. <laughs> don't do what I do and put it down somewhere. I can't remember where you put it because you don't really don't want to have to cut it out again. I'm also going to make the top of my car have stripes. So I'm going to just do this stripey bit at the top. So to make this a little quicker, still get the benefits of the stripes or the design, but not have to cut all the way around the windows and everything. I use blends as well to, um, I'm going to cut this off actually. Don't need that. Don't need the rest of that. Just be easier to cut without it. Thank you guys for being patient with me when I had a slow start tonight. I'm very grateful. All right. So now we have this bit here. You can see that's going to go here. And because it's cut inside the line, you can still see the outline. And that's what we want. Okay. And then this piece is going to go here. Doesn't that look cute? I mean, straight away, it just looks fantastic. It really looks like a little 60s car. So you can use whatever you like to attach this. I find Tombow glue really handy because you can put it into small little bits like this. So I'm just going to add a bit here and then we'll slide that into place. And you're thinking, oh no, now she's got to cut out the whole thing. Yeah, I do. But that's okay. I don't mind. I hope everyone's, you know, talking amongst yourselves and having fun. Ask me anything, guys. Ask me anything while, I'm, while we're waiting. Got any questions for me? We can't see under the feature comment. Thank you for telling me. I don't need that to be featured anymore. Uh, there we go. Sorry about that. Thank you very much, Jenny. Remove the message. Yes, I need to remember to remove messages. <laughs> Not that Janice's message wasn't good. It's just that we can't leave it up there. Otherwise, you can't see what I'm doing. Thank you for that reminder. Right. So now I'm popping this into place so I can still see my outline. I'm just going to... And the good thing about your glue, your Tombow glue, is because it's a liquid, you can slide it into place if it's not perfect in the first instance. So there you go. Isn't that the cutest? Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Makes me wish I had one. So we have a rainbow, very, very 70s kind of combi. So... I was around in the 70s. I'm, you know, I'm not, not scared to tell you. Um, I was born in the 60s, actually, but I don't remember much of those. I very, 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 very vaguely remember seeing on the TV when, you know, when they did the moonwalk on my parents' black and white TV. That's a very, very early memory for me. But I don't, you know, can't tell you much about it, but I remember it happening. And... So what, that was 69, is that right? Does anyone remember? <laughs> we need a megaphone. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, guys. So the feature, the feature comment is down now, isn't it? Tell me, please, it is, because it's not appearing on my screen. <laughs> All right, so let's so i'm good at remember putting the featured comments up i just need to get better at taking them down oh 
Well, there you go. <laughs> so some of us remember some of those some of those days. But you know, the seventies. Well, I I don't remember a lot of the seventies because I was in primary school. So I started school in. I think it was 1970. Yeah, it's 1970, the year I first went to kindergarten. And um, I remember a little bit of the 70s, you know. We started high school in 77, same year that Elvis died, you know, all that kind of stuff. Your mum and dad had a combi. How exciting. Great for camping. Yeah, that would be fantastic. Oh, your hubby restored a combi. Oh, wow, that's very, very cool. Right, we now have our own combi. So let's let's finish this off. I want to use, um, so one of the colours in here is Bermuda Bay. Actually, is it Bermuda Bay or Coastal Cabana? It doesn't matter. I'm going to go with the light Bermuda Bay. I'm going to use my um, my thin end so I can get around my windows. And I'm just going to fill in this piece. I remember there was quite a, there was, um, quite a popular um, Volkswagen combi that was white and this colour this um, Bermuda Bay colour. Does anyone remember those? It was quite a common colourway for it. But this one obviously was in that colourway and then somebody took a rainbow paintbrush to it. There we go, just like that. And I think I'll colour in the mud caps. The, what are they called? Mud flaps. Mud flaps, that's them. And let's go over here. So this is actually a lot of fun. This little project if you like don't mind a bit of cutting and you like um you know coloring in this is a really fun project you are all grown up in the 70s margaret nothing wrong with that too <laughs> few people said their parents had combis all right i'm going to use my black blend for the wheels that would make sense wouldn't it so it's kind of like two projects we're doing in one tonight. I don't think with this taking a little bit longer than some of the cards I make, um, I don't think we'll get to two cards tonight, but that's okay. Um, I think this is, a, I just think it's a fun card. Right, so I've got my, got my wheels done, little muff, uh, muffler down here, and I might go with, uh, the lighter the light there's a light can you believe there's a light black and a dark black the light black is more like a dark gray and last but not least I'm going to use a pool party blend just to color in the windows so they don't look like they're completely blank they look like maybe they're a little bit tinted there we go fancy oh I think it was my husband sneezing sorry about that all right so a cute combi needs, <laughs> we don't want to hear that, Jenny. <laughs> a burnt orange colour. Oh, that's a nice one, Katrina. Mud guards or mud flaps, whatever they are. Yeah, the mud flaps are the bits that hang down at the back, right? I remember. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm so sorry, Margaret. I'm wondering if I can get better lighting from above, but night time is causing a few issues for me. Anyway, you'll be able to see this next bit more clearly. It's when I'm colouring that you can, it's more of a shadow problem. So <laughs> yeah, I'll tell him, Jenny, thanks. I'm sure he'll, he'll appreciate that. <laughs> Do I keep my retired stuff? Answer? Who knows the answer? Do I keep my retired stuff? It's a big fat no, I don't. You know why? If I was to keep my retired stuff, after 15 years, I would have more stuff than I knew what to do with. As it is, I have trouble getting rid of some. I do offer it to my customers um, at like launch events and things like that. And I occasionally do, that's right, Katrina. Um, I occasionally do like a buy one, get one free sale. I do that occasionally. I don't do it very often. Um, but I did one last year in October. I did an online one and it was uh, quite successful. It went really, really well. So what I want to do is I want to create a beach scene for my combi. I'm thinking this was really cute here on a portrait. I'm wondering if today we should do, hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go the same because I do like the way this turned out. I really like it. Okay, so the set that I'm going to use for my background is the Paradise Palm set. And some of you, you have more stuff than you need. I, that's why I just can't keep it all from it. And, you know, I need, 
it's different when you run it as a business. If you're running it as a business, then you need new things and things that people can actually get their hands on. Um, so there's unless you have a real love affair with something that's retired, there's no big need to keep it. Um, I think, you know, I can tell how serious people are about their businesses, about how they feel about retired stuff. If they really want to go forward they're probably not going to keep a lot because they're wanting to see by selling off my old retired stuff it helps me fund my new purchases so to me that's worth more now i'm using this piece here this one here and some of you may have seen i've played with this before this is a really great stamp really really good for doing a bit of what i call water coloring with stamps and we're going to do a bit of scene building i mean the scene that we're building today is this tropical scene pretty pretty simple um, but there's a few steps to it. So I brought in some colors and I'm going to start with my mountains. Mountains are usually how I like to start. Um, I have noticed that when it comes to watercoloring with different colors, the misty moonlight doesn't seem to, um, when you add water, it doesn't spread as much as night of Navy. Night of Navy spreads quite a lot. So um, on this one, I don't know if you can see, I used Night of Navy over here and it spread quite a lot. This one I used Misty Moonlight and it held its shape a lot more. So, um, it, I mean, it just looks like it's further away because it's a faded blue. So that's fine with me. That's kind of how I went with it. All right. So I'm going to start over here on this side. I'm going to start with the Navy because I'm going to build a mountain. And I'm just checking first to make sure I haven't picked up any extra ink because you really don't want to do that because then it leaves funny lines on your, on your work. And we're going to sort of, we're not going to have, I didn't go halfway with it. I wanted the combi and the scene to be down the front so I could focus on the sky. So let's start with a, a similar kind of a thing. And I'm starting with my mountain, the end of my mountain in the center there. Can you see that? Going straight down, straight up almost got a bit of a mark but that's okay all right then I'm going to do the same again double check make sure I haven't picked up extra ink and I'm going to use this end here with the stamp and I'm going to pivot and go a little bit higher but it's going to start in the same place but it's going to pivot up a little higher can you see that so I'm building up the shape of the mouth now what I would like to do was I wanted it to look this is a little different to usual I wanted it to look like the, so the it's coming closer here and, and the like a bay coming around. So I also brought it down a little bit using that same pivot point. Okay, kind of like that. And you're probably thinking, hmm, doesn't look like much right now. No, it doesn't. You're right. Okay, I can always add more color if I want to. Um, I'm going to actually try this on the other side because without re-inking to see... That's actually not bad. So it's a little bit lighter because I it's stamped off, but it doesn't look bad. Okay. And then this one's not as high as this one. So this is the bit where the fun starts. And I'm going to bring in a water painter. Yep, Cookie's, Cookie's listening, isn't he? Exactly. I find most people don't use, unless they really had a love affair um, with something old, if they don't, you, the, you tend not to use the old stuff as much. I mean, I know I'm always trying to use the new stuff. I get excited about new stuff, so it's not as big a drama to get rid of the old stuff. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze a little bit of water through here so it's coming out the end of my pen. Here it comes. And then I'm going to take to this and I'm going to spread the colour. I'm kind of following the, the lines of the mountain. And I'm going to spread that color out and kind of you kind of get like bring it up closer can you see that you kind of get a, like a watery it's a it's more like a watercolored look it's really nice I really like it and then over here I'm going to build up this one so it actually looks like you've been watercoloring but you're using your stamps to basically decide the direction of your watercolors and how how you want it to work so it's a technique that I really really love just love it now I'm actually going to add a little bit more because I don't know if you can see here this time I wanted to go a, a little bit further down so this looks even a little bit more like a base so I'm going to add just one more I might stamp this one off and see if we can get a little bit of a lighter look and 
I'm going to colour that in. See how it's a little bit lighter than the rest? Okay. Now, some of you may have seen me do this before. I'm going to clean that one and put it away because I'm done with that. With my stamp and scrub. Pop it back in. And then I'm going to use... I'm going to use this long one, which is actually one of the trunks of one of the palms. Okay, it's meant to go with the palms as a palm trunk, but I found it really makes rather nice water. So let's give that a whirl. This is, I guess you would say, how would we say, an artistic process, this whole thing, and you kind of learn to repurpose some of these items in a different way than you might have before. I'm going to use Bermuda Bay for my water because, you know, we're in Hawaii or somewhere really tropical. Maybe it's the Whit Sundays. I don't know. It's somewhere. Okay, and then I'm going to put a, just a, and you can do a couple of these, and I'm kind of coming down and building it across. And just like that. All right, that's probably enough. I'm just going to get my navy off and we're going to use, actually I'm wondering if I might use a different water painter. This one's got, this one's a little bit thicker. This is a thin one. Can you see the difference in the size of the, so I'm going to, this, one, this one's better for detail. The medium's good if you're wanting to add um, a lot more water like I am here. And I'm just going to go straight across. And it doesn't matter if you're not, you know, it's not um, even. In fact, it's better if it's not because then it looks more like actual water, you know, with dark bits and light bits in it. <laughs> Everyone's gone very quiet. So either you're concentrating and watching what I'm doing. I'm not sure which, how to take that. I'm hoping it's a good thing. All right, I've just realised I want to use... <laughs> To get my sand down here at the front where the combi is going to sit, guess what stamp I used? I used this one again. So let's put that on a different block. I actually do have two blocks in that size. This is a good size block actually. I like this size. I use it a lot. H block for anyone who wants a good block for medium size skinny stamps. It's rather handy. Now I'm using Daffodil Delight. Just making sure that's okay. Yep. And instead of doing it this way, which looks like a mountain, let's turn it upside down and use it the other way. So this time we're getting kind of like, I'm going to go over. And I want it to kind of look like, I don't know, um, like sand, but, you know, uneven. So this time I'm going to, use this here on my scrap paper underneath because I want to get all that blue out and I want to bring build up the this is daffodil like I said now I think in my original because that's quite yellow I think in my original I added a little bit of the bumblebee in as well to make it look I don't know a little darker so let's do that I might add a little tiny bit in yep that's fine it's just not quite so yellow all right, so you can see now where our cute little combi is going to end up. He's going to be here on the beach while the guys go surfing and the girls, I don't know, they're probably surfing too. Girls and guys both surfing. So it's going to end up down here like this. Okay, it's coming together. <laughs> it's just really fun. I, I, This is my idea of fun. I think it's something that you, anyone can do, but the more you practice it, the, the more fun and the better it turns out each time. So... We've got a couple of choices. Now, if I stamp my trees, I did them in black, so they're kind of looking like a silhouette, but I could have done them in maybe a dark green, like maybe mossy meadow. That would have been nice. I don't know. We might change that this time. I might not do black. But um, I found I then sponged over, and a little bit of the black kind of ended up getting sponged into the background as well. I did put a sun there and a cloud to kind of hide that, but I realised that what I should have done was do my blending first. Okay, so I'm grabbing a blending brush. And the colour I want to use, I've got 
I've got um, I've got a couple of these actually. Let me have a look and see which one's going to be best. Either is fine. I've got a couple of yellow blending brushes. We'll use that one today. And then I only used two colours actually. Can anyone guess what two colours I used in here? Actually, no, there is three because I used a bit of bumblebee to darken up the yellow here. So that's not completely true. <laughs> you like this Karen that's good that's great it's just it's just a bit of fun all right so I'm going to start with the yellow the daffodil that we started with before when we were doing the bottom so let's move that out here <laughs> here it is I put it under the other card oh my gosh all right so then we're going to pick up some daffodil and I'm going to sort of sponge this. Now I'm not going to go super, super close to my mountains because I would like it to look like there's a little bit of a um, white, I don't know, like a glow coming from the tops there. Maybe I won't add any bumblebee today. I might just go with the yellow. That's quite nice. All right, so did anyone guess what the other colour was? You know what, copying is, there's nothing wrong with copying, Jean. That's absolutely fine. Hey, I saw you on Susan's Live the other night. That was fun. She was busy. At, she was at her mum's house trying to do a live there. Oh, thank you. This is this is my, I love this. I love doing this, Michelle. It's just fun to me. <laughs> it's really fun. No, it's not Calypso Coral, Denise. It looks like it, doesn't it? See, it's, we've got like an orange tone here. No. Does this help? <laughs> I used Flirty Flamingo, which is not a colour you probably would have expected, but that's the colour I used at the top. And where the yellow and the pink meet, you get an orange. So it kind of looks like a sunset. So that's why you're probably thinking it looks like Calypso Coral, but it's actually not. So when I added my, I came down from the top here. So the very top is going to be pink, but where it kind of meets with the yellow, we're going to get like an orange tone. You could use Calypso Coral if you wanted to, but I guess what I'm saying is you don't need to. <laughs> you kind of get a mix of colours coming in anyway. Floody Flamingo is the pink I don't use very often, but I like it with this. I think it looks really nice. There we go. So we've got kind of pink and orange and yellow all going on there, and then we're fading out down the bottom here. There we go. Isn't that cool? It's very fun. Really, really fun. Okay, so now we've got ourselves a really fun sunset kind of beachy scene going on. And this is where we can decide, okay, my combi's going to end up here. Or actually it could end, it could end up anywhere, but I think I think here is the right place for it. And then we're going to have our, our palm trees. Now the palm trees are also in the set, Paradise Palms. Here they are. You can either build palm trees, but these ones are bigger. These ones are a better size for this card, I thought. <laughs> yeah, it's this is my idea of fun, Michelle. It's super, super fun. <laughs> oh, you're very welcome. You're very welcome to check out any samples I post. That's what they're there for. Um, let's find. I think D is a good size. Yep, they fit nicely on block D. All right, so I'm thinking, seeing as, shall we do, okay, should we do the black or shall we do them in colour? Because if we do colour, I'm going to pick a dark green for the leaves and probably probably soft suede. And I'm wondering if the colour or the black looks better. What do we think? Hmm, maybe we'll just try the colour. Colour, says Joan. Okay, let's do it. All right, so I'm going to try, you know what? You know what we're going to do? These are rubber stamps, so they handle markers really, really well. So I'm going to use Soft Suede and I'm going to use Mossy Meadow and I'm going to ink them up with my markers. So this is another technique. We're bringing in a couple of techniques tonight. We're doing markering and we're also doing direct to rubber. We're doing um, paper piecing. So we're doing a few things tonight. So this is a bit of a... It's a bit of an epic card. 
like mostly my cards are a lot more simple because I want partly the reason I do simple cards is because I want you guys to be able to do them. I want you to walk away from my videos and go, I could do that, you know. I still believe anyone can do a card like this, but just understand that it's more of a process. It's going to take some more time and you may find it um, takes longer to get the result, but I think it's worth it at the end. Well, they say the juice is worth the squeeze. There we go. So I'm just going to use my markers on there. Now, I want to make sure this is completely dry. You could, it is, it feels dry to me, so I'm actually okay with that. If you were worried about that, I would hit it with a, a heat tool because you're going to get a better result on a dry. Oh, something I did not mention, I'm using watercolour paper. That definitely should have been mentioned earlier. So I'm very sorry about that. You'll get a better result, especially if you're adding water to watercolour paper. Shimmery white also doesn't do a bad job. You can do a really good watercolour job on shimmery white, but usually basic white is probably not your best option. Okay. All right. So let's pop these here. And I'm going to... Don't forget, you don't have to worry about the bottom too much because the combi is going to be covering them. I'm inking up and stamping straight down and there we go now see how they're not as they don't stand out as much because it's the color the black stands out more we can fix that and I'm going to get my thinnest marker make sure it's clean and I'm going to go over make sure there's enough is there plenty of yep there's enough water I'm going to go over this very very gently and it's going to darken up that just a little bit and then we're going to do the same in here so I'm going to very very gently go over them and it's just going to make them more solid interesting thing happens when you add water to mossy meadow it, um, it lightens and brightens so it looks more like old olive when you add water to it they're very similar in the spectrum of color and you will find that see doesn't that look better look that's cool much nicer they almost look realistic now looks good all right see this is going to go over down here so you won't see the bottom of those palm trees okay so don't worry about it looking like it's in the middle of the water because that's where the combi is going to go cool it's coming together i'm liking this all right now up to you you can add a sun there is a sun in the paradise palms and if you're going to do that you would probably do that in bumblebee um, or crush cut a bit it's a bit stronger um, whereas bumblebee is a little bit of a soft yellow let's have a look can you see the difference this is a bit stronger oh hang on no that's pumpkin pie huh i've just realized i've just replaced they're very similar but this is stronger i've just replaced this one and it's still in its packet but i'm going to open it and we're going to have a look and see if that's a better color um let me grab out my paper piercing paper now, now see i'm saying it wrong paper piercing tool i'm just going to hook that in there and open this up i wasn't planning on using this color and that's why i didn't worry about opening it but anyway let's try it and let's grab out our sun going to use block A. It's a tiny, tiny little block, our smallest block, which is a good size for that. And let's try it first because this will be quite an inky stamp. Let's try it on here. It's it's good. So making sure that these are all dry, I'm going to add this just here so it looks like the sun is kind of poking behind the palm trees. Can you see that? Oh, there it is. Looks good, doesn't it? If you wanted to, you get a little bit of yellow into the water as well as if the yellow was reflecting on the water. I'm not going to do that tonight, but you could definitely do that and that would look really cool. And also, I've noticed that this here, the good thing about markers is you can come in and add markers after if you need to. That's just needs a bit of strength there. All right. I think I'm ready to put my combi on, so I'm going to do that. So basically we're just building it up. Which stamp set do you mean, Jean? Do you mean the, the combi or you mean the Paradise Palms? Which one are you thinking you need? 
Here we go. All right. That'd be a nice place to camp, don't you think? Katrina, can you see your parents camping in their combi right there on the beach? I think that'd be nice. Some birds flying would be lovely. But if you don't have those, I went and did this earlier. I have some little clouds from my rainbow dies, which has got these great little clouds in it. And we can add a few of those. Now, I partly added those because I had a mark there I needed to cover. So that's why that dictated where the clouds went. But we don't have to do that. The other thing is I used driving by just to say hi in this, in this oval, which is the um, double oval punch. So let's have a look because instead of that was this one that says driving by just to say hi. That's the one I got. You could also have you've got style. That's really cute as well. But I'm thinking for this, we might focus more on the scene. We've got hope you find a little paradise wherever you may be. And we've got wishing you a warm and beachy kind of day. I'm wondering if that warm and beachy kind of day will fit nicely in the oval punch. It might. Let's try it. You know what? That's exactly right. If you leave a little bit of white space um, and the stamp kind of lends itself to that because you have the straight stamp, but then that was for the water, but we had the one, the mountainy kind of stamp. This one has leaves kind of a jagged edge and so naturally that forms white space between the two which does look like either waves or possibly sand maybe sand dunes um i think that's really a nice a nice way to do it so yeah don't try and fill in all the white because it actually looks nice like that all right i'm gonna see if this will fit in my oval punch and i used black when I did this because I figured well we've got black in the trees but we've also got black for the combi outline and the wheels but I'm thinking because I haven't used I'm thinking maybe I'll go Bermuda Bay this time because I haven't used black for the trees so let's or we could go navy what do we think do we want to go navy or Bermuda Bay for our words what do you think guys which way would look good <laughs> The palms, yeah, it's a really nice set, Jean. And you know what? I haven't even used the dies today. The dies are amazing. Have you seen those? Do you want me to show you or do you prefer I don't show you? I mean, I'm happy to enable you if if you would like, but if you prefer not to be enabled. Oh, first answer is Michelle, you said Navy. Okay, Navy it is. Let's do it. So that was the first one. Joan, oh, sorry, Joan, you were just a little bit too slow. Sorry. Never mind. <laughs> right, let's. Wishing you a warm, bitchy day. And what I want to see is if it's going to fit in my oval. Now, it'll definitely fit in the big oval with the scallop, but I want to use the small one. Oh, wouldn't you know it? I stamped it too far away from the edge, and now I've got to cut it a little bit closer to the edge so I can reach it with my punch. I do that. Oh, look, it does. It fits nice. There we go. Let's do that. I'll use that for something else. And now we have this wishing you a warm and beachy kind of day. And you know what? Because we didn't do it before, I'm going to roll that around in my Bermuda Bay. There you go, Joan. This is like a consolation prize. We're rolling it in the Bermuda Bay, even if we didn't stamp it in the Bermuda Bay. <laughs> yeah, the bundle is really, really good. And see, even Michelle said so. And Denise, I know you've got that bundle too. A few of you have got it. All right, so let's add this first so that we know where we want to put our clouds. And I want this to go over the edge a little bit. So I'm going to use my dimensionals. Hang on, let me see it. Okay, I'm going to add one on this end. Ah, start again. <laughs> I've got a dimensional that wants to stick to my fingers. Right, and I'm not going to quite to the end. I'm going to kind of keep them in the middle so that I can zip that over the end a little bit because when we put it on our oh it helps if you take the backs off don't you find they stick better if you do that all right how are we going ah there you go you could do a scrapbook page with the combi what a great idea you got some have you got some old photos Katrina that'd be such a cool thing to do all right so where we want our clouds to go, let's have a look. I want maybe a cloud here. 
we don't have to use all four we might only use a couple let's try those two for starters and we could put them on dimensionals or we could just put them flat um, I think I'm going to put this one on flat and we're going to do this one flat as well And I've got a little guy here. Which one will I use? That one or that one? And this one's going to go on a mini dimensional. There we go. Which one? That one. I have a cat on the table behind me and I don't think he's been fed his dinner yet and I think he's starting to get hungry. All right. Oh, there's a dimensional back there. We don't want that. All right, coming together, nearly there. All right, so we need to put this on a, I, the colour I chose for this, because it actually works really well, is Pool Party. Doesn't that look nice on the Pool Party? You could do it on white, but I think Pool Party looks really, really nice. Right. Fold that. Let's grab a bone folder. And this is going to go straight on here. So you don't, you know, we're pretty much done now. We, You don't need to do anything else unless you want to add a bit of bling. I did add bling to my original card. See, I added some little gold bits. I thought that looked nice. Let's add those. And after this video, I'm going to go and sit with my husband and my son and watch the latest episode of the book of Boba Fett because my son is a mad 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 keen Star Wars fan and um, I've got to say I've been rather enjoying it myself it's been rather good oh, not happy with the positioning so let's try that again that's better all right just like that do we need Do we need um, some bling? What do you think? Do we need them? There's one with and one without. And do we like the star, the stars? Do we like the hearts or do we like the stripes? What do you think, guys? You're a flower girl. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's different. That's exactly right. Yep. <sighs> That's so cool. I'm reading through the comments. It's so nice seeing what everyone's saying. Oh, you watched it in your house too, Katrina. Do you have um, Mad, Teen, Mad Teen Star Wars fans at, at your house? Are you one? Uh, I have to say I have. I was introduced to Star Wars in the kind of maybe about 83, 80, oh, no, not 83, maybe 84, 84 or 85. And, well, whenever it was that the third one had just come out, which, of course, for anyone who knows, is number six. Um, so after... Return of the Jedi after that came out and I went to the local picture theater which was our local town hall in the little town that I lived in and they were playing all three back to back and then they were going to play them again that night at the drive-in and I'd been invited to both and I thought well I can't go to both that's silly so I went to the afternoon one with my friend sat there watched all three one two and three straight one after the other loved it so much drove straight to the drive-in and watched all three all over again so I watched six six of them all in the one day and just loved it and have been hooked ever since so there you go <laughs> you love them both Joan yeah they're different you like the stripes sunny that's cool I think they they turned out pretty nice I'm not going to do a second one tonight because this has been quite a long a long session for one card and my apologies if it seemed to go on and on and on forever but we got there right I'm really glad you like them um I will be back on Sunday night of course and Sunday night I'm going to have I will be doing the traditional two cards um if anyone has any requests or anything they'd like me to do then shoot me a message or go over to the Facebook page and let me know what you'd like to see um, didn't go on forever. Oh, good. Well, I was late starting, so I guess that took a little bit of time off the front, didn't it? But, um, yeah, we got there. We got there. That's good. I'm very happy now that um, that we're able to get everything to work and you guys, I hope, enjoyed that. 
yes see you tomorrow denise let's fingers crossed everything works as it should and i'm if it doesn't i'm just going to take a deep breath and um redo it and it will it'll work next time right so um <laughs> thanks thank you very much yes see you guys on sunday thank you very much yeah i'm really looking forward to it cindy we've got 34 fabulous girls in my team coming tomorrow and when i say coming they're coming virtually so it's an online event um and i've got guest speakers and we've got um make and takes and so many things going on and i think i think it'll be a really fun day so there's been a lot of work going into getting it together but it's so worth it because i love seeing the girls enjoy themselves so that's pretty awesome all right i'll be back for everybody else here on sunday night don't forget subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already because it lets you know when i go live um and so if i post you know tutorials or anything during the week you get to you get to be the first to know about it if you're a subscriber so do that Okay, see you soon and um, have a great weekend, guys. Bye-bye.